This is David Mann of Lotto Odds and Match 3 Colors. It is August 4th, 2024. Okay, this is for n a novice uh, members and players. I'm going to show you a simple strategy um, how to um, implement it and uh, be able to uh, play with a few numbers and win big. And not only that, how to utilize the mobile web page here uh, so the program will show you when to play the numbers, which numbers to play, and when not to play the numbers, okay? This is what I'd like you to do. First of all, as a novice player, the best thing to do is not jump around between all these states looking for patterns. The best thing to do at first is to stick with one state, okay, and to work with that one state and to practice with that one state until you get very good and proficient with it and then you can start jumping around to other states. But I would always prefer to stick with one single state because each state has a rhythm, a pattern rhythm. They have the lotto balls, the lotto machines, the algorithms that they utilize, and those create patterns. And as you are focusing on one state alone, you're going to uh, connect with that pattern rhythm. Okay? And I always suggest also when you do this research that I'm going to show you, um, try to go back only one month back. Um, if a certain pair sum that I'm going to show you um, has doesn't have that many um, data points, in order, I should say, uh, more history to it, then you can go back further. Okay, I'm going to show you now. This is what I want you to do. You first need to learn the pattern rhythm of each state. So I'm utilizing Texas, okay, because Texas has four draws. The patterns repeat all the time. They come out faster than all the other states because you've got four draws. So <clears throat> what I want you to do is basically do this. I want you to start isolating, right? Start with the 12, isolate the 12, 3, 3, then isolate each and every one of these, right? And grab um, the um, past winners here and the patterns with it. So I'm going to turn off all this, um, all right, like that. Uh, and I'm going to show you how this ends. This is going to be really cool for you guys. All right, so there, so here. You see how 1233 had just a few? It's from July to uh, June 26th. You just grab it. Grab it like this. You just copy it like this. Don't go too far. Just go right here and just copy. And then you'll be in something. Utilize a Word, Word document page and just go like that. Paste. Okay? Like that. All right? And you get a beautiful design here, layout chart like that and do for each one. So what I've done is this. I've already created the chart. So I've created with the 15 pair of sums, right? Here's 12, actually his tw is PS12, pair sum 11, uh, pair sum 10, pair sum 9, pair sum 8, pair sum 7, and pair sum 6. That's the last one. But within each pair sum, I divided them with their a pair sum. So pair sum plus a pair sum. You should know what a pair sum now is. It's the three one one, the one three. Those digits connected to the to the eleven or the twelve or the six or the seven. Okay, pair sums. All right. So I first one I'll do here. Twelve only has twelve three three. Okay, so that's easy. Eleven pair sum eleven has. 11.31 and 11.13. So I separated them. This is important so you can see the patterns connected with each specific pair of sum and the eight pair of sum patterns, okay? 10, PS10, pair of sum 10. Look, 10.32, okay? Then 10.23, then 10.11. And I did that for all the rest. See, 9.33, 9.21, 9.12, an A31. Okay, I did, I did that through the whole thing. Um, eight, hold on. A3, A3, A31, A22, uh, A13. Okay, and I did that for the rest. All right, so what I'm going to do now, um, you, you're able to see, you're able to see the patterns now connected with each pair sum and A pair sum, okay? And for, for the ones that had less uh, numbers that came out, I even went further. I would, I would even take it down to, for say, for example, 
here, see all marks. I grabbed all of them because there was such few. All right. Now, you can start studying each of the patterns and see which one comes out the most. Okay, but I'm going to start you off the way I'm going to start you off now. Okay, and then you could take my example and you could build on that or utilize it to practice. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of focus you on this binary code zero zero. Binary code means the zero zero means the first digit of every winner is going to come out even. So see here on even you'll have the first first letter right there. It's going to be E even right there. See even even. See all even. Now look how it's zero zero is always is connected with here. The first letter there is an L low and then even low even low even low even right. But what I want you to focus on now is I want you to focus on this where you see I got the blue binary code zero zero which is uh, odd the odd even starts with an even the high low starts with the low okay and you got hit hit this is important all right for this specific strategy now look at PS 11 you see how it rarely hits zero zero you see that with that pattern hit hit with the low is even, see that? Zero, zero, low, even, hit, hit. And then here is 1113. See, there's one there. PS10, you see there's one there, which hit back in January 3rd, okay? Now look at this, for 10 to 3, there's three of them, okay, in July. Okay, look at this. 10, 1, 1, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. Seven hit for July. So and look how, how often 1011 hits. <coughs> Excuse me. See how often 1011 hits it? Pretty much dominates here. Alright. The eight, uh, PS, uh, PS some eight, nine, and ten are the ones that dominate. Alright, so out of the five. Um, all right, so and here nine three three, you don't have any. Uh, nine two one. Look at 921, way back here, June 24th. It's not very popular with that. Uh, now, but look at 912. You have 1, 2, 3, which was in July. Okay? Now look at PS8. So 1011 has a lot of them, and PS8, pair sum 8. Look, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look how many times they hit. Okay? So you may figure out, oh, you know what? I'm going to concentrate on the green 10 pair sum 10 and the pink pair sum 8 with this pattern okay with that pattern okay to catch the winner for there okay now let's just finish this up let's go 822 look back in July 5th so not very popular here that pattern um, how about 813 you've got two here okay there you go um, in July and then uh, pair sum 7 you got here is one back in July 1st. 732, 723, you've got two, July, uh, one in July there and one in June. So as you can see, the most popular is going is here, is 831 and 1011. 1011 is the most popular, okay? But we can play all of them, okay? Now, if you take each and every one of them, so when you've made your chart like this, take each and every one of those patterns. If, if it's this pattern that you're going to play with that I'm showing you, or another pattern you've identified, okay, take this pattern, okay, and isolate each one of them like this, what I did. Okay, this helps you see the patterns more clearly. It's on the bottom here. So what I've done, if I took each and every one of them from the different pair of sums when they hit, and I got these. This is what I have, okay? How many times it hit within July? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times it hit within July. That pattern, okay? So when you have them separately, you don't see that they hit very much. But when you put them all together, you see they hit quite often, right? Through, throughout, throughout the whole month. All right, so this is telling you that this pattern is not bad, and you can catch it. And look at the pattern here, what tends to hit. 
a lot. Look, with the low, even, 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 even. You see that? Even, even. This should be blue. Okay, even, 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 even. So that's another way you might want to reduce them. But here, now, let me go to the mobile web page and show you how you're going to put this into practice. And let Lotto Odds show you when to play the numbers, um, what numbers to play, and when not to play them, okay? So remember this pattern. You have the binary code is 0, 0, and then low, even, and hit, hit. So, okay, here we go here, all right? Let me refresh the page. We're going back to Texas, all right? So we said we're going to be doing a hit, hit, right? That's what we're going to try to catch. We'll start out with the pink because we'll, we're going to do all of them. And we're going to do singles and doubles to see what numbers we have. Now, we're going to go for the binary code, and we're looking for just 0, 0. So we're going to turn off all that, right? And then we're going to also look at this, the front pair. Remember, we said we just want low, low, right? The low, low here. Look, low, low, and we could even do low, high. Here, let me show you. Low, low. Look what tends to win. Low, 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 low. Look at that. Amazing. You see, this is why it's important to isolate these patterns. It's low, low, my friends. So it's right there, low, low. Okay, turn off all these. And then we said it's even, even, even odd. Okay, like that. All right. Now, look what you have. Okay, turn this off. So we only use two. We use this filter. This is the main filter. You, you, you can't. Numbers won't be displayed until you utilize at least these two with either the all or either isolate one of these hit and miss patterns, okay? So these are mandatory, and then these are optional. So we only utilize the front back split pairs here, okay? Just like what we showed you here, just like the blue. That's the pattern, okay? That's what this pattern is. I'm going to close this now. Now, do you see that? You've got the hit, hit right exact patterns okay and there's no numbers so what does that tell you it is telling you that the next draw the, the, there's no possibility for this to win when there is a possibility that the winner you see how many times it's hit 18 times when it's there's a, and it's hit hit when there is a possibility that the winner is going to be here with the hit hit it's going to show up here so you check this all the time before the drawing as you see numbers here when you see numbers here you play them okay you play them because what's going to happen they cannot win you cannot get these wins you could not get these wins at all unless they are here hit hit okay look this is the pink this is the pink right a pair sum let's go to the brown see no numbers let's go next to the green See, no numbers. Let's go next to the gray. No numbers. Let's go to the yellow. No numbers. And that is awesome. Because what's going to happen is when, when the numbers are ready to, to win or there's a possibility for it to win with this pattern that you see here, which won 18 times in July, okay, it's going to show up in one of these, right? Right here. Hit, hit. One of these. It must, because look, this here, here's the pattern. There's your proof right there. And this should be blue too, hold on. Right? This is one of the most simplest strategies, but one of the most powerful strategies, okay? And lot of odds, and this is why lot of odds is so powerful, because it can tell you when not to play the number, when to play the number, which number to play, okay? Through this. Now, when you see the number here, it's not a guarantee that it's saying it's going to win next. Nothing could predict the future. But what it's saying, now it has an opportunity that it can win. Because if there's no numbers here, there is no possibility. Are you hearing me? There's no possibility for the number to win, okay, like this, one of these, right? No possibility for it to win. You saw, I, I looked at all these, so there's no, no numbers showed up, okay? The only time that there is a possibility for that specific number to hit is going to be when it appears there. So what you do is you come back all the time prior to the drawing, if you want to play Texas, 
and you look at this pattern again, right? Look at this, look at this pattern again, and you see what numbers are showing up. Then you play them. And what the greatest thing about this is that you're playing such few numbers. You can wind up playing only two numbers here. And say, for example, you play on a certain site, right? And if you're going for double, because I like to go for the doubles, but I'm going to do two singles and doubles. So let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's do the doubles. Here's the doubles. Okay, so that's one. There's no, no numbers there. No numbers there in brown. No numbers there in green, which is the tens. No numbers there in the gray, which is 11s. And no numbers there, which is a 6, 7, and 12s. See that? This is awesome. So both singles and doubles, it's not showing you any numbers. It's telling you there's no possibility for it to win next draw, okay? Either doubles or singles, okay? You could also look at triples. I don't play triples at all because they rarely come out. Triples would be in the brown, okay? Or triples would be in the yellow, okay? Uh, but I don't think it comes out with that pattern. So I don't... You, we're not ignore that because we're just playing with doubles and singles, okay? So basically that's what you do. So if you're playing, and let's go through the numbers. If you're playing, say for example, for the singles, right? So two numbers, right? It's 50 cents, so 37.50, say for example, divide by 50. How many draws can you do here? Wow. Oh my God. 75 draws. If you're playing on average of two numbers, 75 draws, okay? 75 draws to catch these. To catch these, 18, okay? And if you're playing with two or three numbers, let's say for let's say for the sake of argument, let's take it up to all the way up to um take it up to like six numbers, which is ridiculous because it's not gonna be six numbers, I know. But let's just say six numbers times say for example twenty-five cents. We got a dollar fifty, right? A dollar fifty, thirty-seven fifty. Divide a dollar fifty. How many draws do we have here? Twenty-five draws. Twenty-five draws. It gives you a t so the favor, favor is on your side. I should say the odds have shifted to you. You have twenty-five draws to hit the winner. So if you go through this, if Lotto odds is showing you when to play, and you're not going to just play them blindly either. You're going to go through this, right? You're going to go through this. And you're going to see each pair of sum, what, which one do you think may come out the most? And you may play a uh, lower investment with these other ones and may, say, for example, with the pink, you may go a higher investment, say, for example, $10 or $20 per number to win huge. You, you accumulate, save your profits, and then you could go even higher. And if you're just shooting for the doubles, look at this. If you're just shooting for the doubles, look at the doubles that hit, okay? And if you come here and you're just playing with the doubles and it's showing when the doubles are going to hit, first of all, you have more chances of winning. So, for example, let's see here, um, 75. So it's 50 cents, divide 75. Two numbers, divide 75. I should say 75, divide 50 for two numbers, okay? 150 draws. 150 draws. For Texas, you could play over a month over a month to catch these doubles, okay? This is huge, huge, okay? And such a simple but powerful program that I've just showed you. So if you stick to this, let Lotto Odds show you numbers to play, when to play them, and if there's no numbers there, you don't play. All you have to do is come back here each time, go through these colors, and send singles and doubles, and just play the numbers that show up. Okay, and uh, utilize this, create this chart like I showed you here, and go through it, practice, okay? And you'll get very proficient and stick to one state. For example, I'm sticking to Texas only, okay? You will catch the rhythm of these patterns, okay? And you're gonna start hitting these a lot and with just very few numbers where you could be making thousands of dollars. For example, you put t if you play, um, two numbers at one time and you put ten dollars on each you're gonna win three thousand dollars on there okay three thousand you put a hundred dollars on there with the three thousand you could start putting now a hundred dollars on each of those two and then you wind up winning thirty thousand dollars okay i'm not joking okay depending where you play that is all right and that is it i wish you the best